This is Dr. Muhammad Yusuf, one of the few in Madaya. Today he was treating this child who hasn't eaten for a week. He calls on the UN Security Council to intervene immediately, saying 35,000 face death by starvation. Adults are suffering alongside children. This young man hasn't eaten for at least 10 days, poisoned by the diet of wild herbs he was forced to scavenge for. Look at us, he says. A whole town has not seen food for around three months. Members of Father Jassim's family are trapped there. She says food aid must get through now. We're not that hopeful that it will be any time soon. You know, we'd, uh, we'd like to urge them to, to, to please, please, you know, try and get this aid in as soon as possible, um, because every hour counts. Madaya is under siege from the east by President Assad's troops and from the west by his Lebanese militia allies Hezbollah. Two other pro-government towns to the north, besieged by rebels, are also due to get food aid. Both sides in this conflict have resorted to besieging towns. Madaya is a terrible situation, but we estimate that there could be in excess of 100,000, maybe up to 200,000 people around the country who are in similar situations to this or situations like this that are approaching what we've seen. So we really, really need to appeal to both sides to stop uh, this policy of, of besieging towns and making civilians suffer. If and when aid trucks are allowed in, they'll find a desolate and bleak town in the grip of winter, where the hungry and starving who haven't eaten for days, sometimes weeks, are forced to scavenge and beg, all this as they try to survive war as well. This is Syria Today. Ragi Oman, News at 10.